when I first started coaching people, I was actually incredibly surprised by how many people had wanted to write a book in their life. But if you look at the stats for the number of people that want to write a book and the number of people that actually write a book, it's like 88% or something want to write a book, but very, very few actually do. Now in this video, I want to share the process I've used to at this point write five books, two of which have been full length books in print, in audio, and in Kindle online. And I want to share the process I've used to consistently write what I think are pretty good books in the marketplace that have all performed really, really well and helped a lot of people. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now, one of the big things that has helped me put together my books has been the process of journaling to not only get clear on what I'm doing in my life and with my goals, but also to figure out how do I actually create a book that is a masterpiece in terms of the written quality and how it sells. So if you want, I've included in the first link in the description a free journaling worksheet as well as an email course that's how to use journaling to figure out your life and become more successful. So the first step for me in actually creating an amazing book is the inspired idea. You know, when I first wrote my first book, Master of the Day, the idea came to me in the way that an intuition often does. It was one of those things where I was like, I really have to write this. I'd been coaching a lot of clients and I was answering the same questions over and over and over again. And I was also trying to explain how the same habit advice we use to lose weight is the same thing you can use to improve your finances, your relationships, your happiness, anything. And so my idea was, oh, I should write a book that links them all together. My goal setting philosophy of life. And so I think for you, if you're looking to write the book, what is that inspired idea that is exciting you? You know, instead of trying to figure out like, what's the book that my business, company, YouTube channel needs, you just think like, what is the exciting book? What's the book you wanna read? What is the cool book? Now that's the first thing, because of course, it begins with the idea. Now the second thing here is write the table of contents before you write the book. This is humongous. I meet so many people that I've actually coached through writing their own books, and they get stuck with writer's block, structuring the book, where do you start, and the reality is that if you start facing your computer every day with the monumental task of writing a book, it's gonna be very difficult to start. But if instead, you're going through the table of contents and you're like, huh, what is my big, what's the big idea of my book? Huh, what's principle number one of my big idea? Huh, what's principle number two of my big idea? Principle number three, four, and five. So for example, you can look at the way that I structured my book where it's broken into two parts. The first part is in general the prologue and what I call the four inner horsemen of the health apocalypse. These are the things that hold people back from building their best life and from getting fit. So I go into horsemen one, two, three, and four. And then part two is really these nine success habits I learned from helping people lose weight and improve their life and turn it around. So the first part is what holds you back. The second part is what will set you free. You could apply that framework to basically any niche or any topic. And then the second part is we go through habit one, habit two, habit three, and so on and so forth. And once you have that table of contents written, all you do each day is break it down and you fill it in. The third piece is the chapter headlines. Now the thing with each chapter is you don't want it to just be chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, unless you're writing a, a fiction book, a storybook. If you're writing a book that's like how to improve your life or specific for your industry or your niche, then make them interesting. You know, make the titles, like look at the titles of my book. It's like that for a reason. What no one tells you about looking and feeling amazing. The big secret, what I learned interviewing people that lost over 100 pounds. The four inner horsemen of the health apocalypse. The most priceless gift in the world. Like these are, you should be able to flip through the book and be like, whoa, this sounds interesting. I know that sounds kind of obvious, but there's a lot of books I flip to and it's just like, bleh, same old, same old. The fourth thing is to begin your chapters with a simple format, which is you tell a story and then you give an action step. The most easy format you can apply is 
Let's say your book is about how to get more website traffic. You tell a story. I started a knitting blog and it sucked and I hated my job and I wanted to quit but nothing was working. And then I did the strategy and then look how awesome my life is now because I quit my job. And then you teach the strategy. Now, in, this, in Master of the Day, for example, the first book I wrote, every chapter is usually giving examples or being specific. Like, this is what this person did, like Lauren's old genes, or how this person stopped being a perfectionist and then got results. And then you teach the principle. Because that way, you're not just like talking. Stories are naturally engaging, and they're definitely the way that really, it makes a book easily flow. And that's the thing. When you're reading it, you feel the flow. Now, the fifth part of writing a great book is having a timeless quality. So there are a lot of books that are written that are great for the times today. You know, they're books that'll help you improve some specific aspect of life, but they're very time sensitive, like books written about a certain modern celebrity, books written about a certain event in history, or books written about like internet tactics and tricks to grow your online business. We don't know where that'll be in 10 years. But look at the books that stand the test of time. Look at old school personal development books, spiritual books, the Bible, the Tao Te Ching, the Dhammapada. All these books are timeless in their information. So if you're writing a book, unless it is related to a specific niche, try to create a timeless quality. No one remembers the things from a book on 51 ways to lose weight, 51 ways to grow website traffic, 51 ways to get her love. People don't remember those things, right? They want the one thing. They want the one unifying principle in your book. And so if you can arrange it around almost like a thesis sentence, like you remember writing papers in high school? What's the big idea? Each book should have a big idea. It's called Master the Day. The big idea is you look at the habits you do every day. And that was deliberate. That was the whole point. Creating a title that served as the mnemonic device that you could reflect back on and be like, yes, that book gave me this very specific insight and this is how it's changed my life. Cool? I hope that helps you guys. Now, of course, don't forget, the first link in the description is how I used journaling to not only figure out what to do with my life, but to become more successful, to write all of my books, and to do all of that really before the age of 30. So if you like, you can check out the first link in the description, get that free journaling sheet and the email course, and you can check out my last two videos right there and right there.